my favourite subject is English because I really enjoy the studies we do. My favourite subject is woodwork because it's so much fun. Hello, my name is James and I really like French because I like languages. My favourite subject is hospitality because I really like baking. My name's Abby and I really like doing art and design because I love to teach it and I really have a personality of doing that. Hello there, I'm Deputy Head Teacher Chris Steves and it's my pleasure to welcome you to this update from our community high school. It's been a great privilege of mine in the last few weeks to visit six of the eight primary schools who send children to us for S1 and I'll visit the last two primary schools next week but it's been absolutely fantastic to meet the young people in their schools and to see how stoked they are for coming to our community next session. We've had lots of questions about all the different subjects they'll study, how to get around the building, what time the school starts, what about lunchtime and break times, what are the teachers like, what kinds of things can we get up to in the wider curriculum. And I've done my best to answer the questions, but we're going to have to go out and do more visits with the children. So a guidance teacher will visit very soon after Christmas, and then myself and probably the head teacher Pam Davy will visit as well after that. But it is my fervent hope that we will have the primary sevens in our community at some point before they join us next summer for S1. My S1 IT class have been helping me to produce some resources for the primary sevens. We're working on PowerPoint presentations just now, which show the primary seven children all the aspects of our community high school. And my S1 class are so enthusiastic about it. That's why I was very happy to use a few of them indicating what subjects they like when they're in first year at the start of this uh, broadcast. Before the first lockdown, and right through the lockdowns, we have enhanced our online learning platforms a great deal. And my thanks go out to all the staff who spent so much time doing that. Our services include ClickView, which is a video subscription service packed with curriculum materials, but also entertainment materials. Each child has access to that, and it's appropriate for the age of the child. We also have our Satchel One service, which allows us to add home learning tasks to either classes or individual children or individual groups, which parents can also log into and see the materials there. We're also using Teams a great deal. Teams is part of the Office 365 suite, and it allows us to have virtual classrooms with all kinds of materials on that children can be part of. Finally, we uh, are part of the Scholar Programme, which is run by Heriot Watt University which primarily is for S3 up to S6 children studying STEM related subjects and a few other subjects as well, including modern languages and English. It's our real desire that children don't stop learning when they leave our community at the end of the day, but they can continue with their learning at home using the online platforms. These are accessible via any mobile device, including a phone or a laptop. If you think your child would benefit from having access to a laptop because you've got maybe shared access at home or unreliable access to an old laptop, then please contact your guidance teacher and we'll arrange for one to come home. All of the services I've described uh, can be accessed through our GLOW platform. Each child has a username and password for GLOW which they can log into both in school and at home and can use that access to get into the other platforms. So please. I encourage you to have a look at the GLOW platform and all the related platforms with your child at home. At school at the moment, our prelims are in full swing for S4, S5 and S6 pupils. The results of the prelims, along with lots of other assessment data, will form the basis of the report that's sent home for the pupils after Christmas. Please read that report really carefully with your child, paying special attention to the feedback that's in the report which will indicate how your child can improve and consolidate their performance. We're firmly of the belief in our community that a significant improvement can still be made if it's made in the right direction under close scrutiny of both the pupil and the teacher. Our junior classes in S1, S2 and S3 continue to work through their range of subjects. We get round the classes a great deal and we're seeing lots of good work on display in the classes, on screens, in jotters and in the way the children are interacting with the teachers. 
and S2 will be choosing their subjects for S3 very soon. So it's really important to have good conversations with your child about that and to make informed choices which will line up what your child wants to do in the future with the subjects that they choose. Finally, in the build-up to the Christmas break, we want to make sure that learning and teaching continues in classrooms right up until our final day. We think it's important that children maximise their time in school, having missed so much schooling in the last 18 months or so. So your, your support with that would be greatly appreciated. Follow when the break comes, we hope you and your family have a wonderful Christmas break, enjoy the time off, and come back refreshed and ready to begin the new year fully invigorated. Thanks for watching, and all the best from our committee.